from uh, from American <laughs> AFP. I think she was there. AFP for American for Prosperity, and she gives an update legislative. Uh, well, overall. overall, what everything, uh, all goings on AFP. Okay, related to school. All right, thank you, Nancy. Um, yeah, and I, I know we're I'm good friends because I've worked with most of you in coalition yeah. capacity. Nancy did, Nancy Dester, Tiny D, Serving of America, GCSA, Students First, Moms for School Choice. So we're really all of this together. And uh, just by brief introduction for those of you who don't know, uh, Americans for Prosperity is a group that we basically stand to promote economic and educational freedom of choice, those two things. We feel the two are really intertwined because when you talk about employers and they talk about what they're looking for in moving into Georgia and setting up shop, it has to do with educated workforce, which as we all know in this room is something we struggle and are struggling to improve upon in every way possible. So the two are really intertwined for us. Um, we're unique, um, I think, that yeah, we are one of the states, well, we are the state's essentially largest free market group that has a 501c4 status, which for those of you who are familiar with tax, it allows us a lot of flexibility uh, because we are able to literally fight on the ground. So we are, at the end of the day, a grassroots advocacy arm for educational freedom of choice uh, around the state. So some of the things we were working on, part of the BP coalition last year, on the charter school and then working with most of you in this room. Uh, more recently, this year has been a lot of laying ground educational uh, side of things, which for us is, is the C3 side of what we did. Uh, we just wrapped up a 35-40 city date uh, stop tour, education freedom tour, where we went all over the state of Georgia and basically gave an update on what the snapshot of what Georgia's education fund looks like right now including the charter school and uh, driving folks, hopefully more and more, to the Charter 101 course that GCSA offers, uh, to the, bunk, the bank that they are setting up now for folks who are interested in uh, serving on a board for a charter school uh, as an application process to land something in the local area. So uh, really trying to be a feeder program to go out, gather people who may not be mobilized in the movement yet, and get them involved through the various coalition partners that we work with. Um, that was most of this year. Uh, just so you know, we have actually, just in the last couple of weeks, uh, ramped up state operations on every front for AMP. Uh, we are actually setting up two satellite offices, uh, one in Augusta, one probably going to be in Savannah, moving our headquarters from Cairo to Atlanta, um, and, and really looking to set up a lot. We've got a five-year, hopefully sooner than that, the long-range goal to work with folks like Michael and Students First and your goals, uh, which are also our goals in this case, of, uh, of really expanding stu student choice so that the money follows the child. This is the big win to the school of the, uh, of the parents choosing. So you have uh, called the voucher program or any other number of things, but so that parents are empowered in the decision-making process. Uh, because we believe, uh, like everyone in the room virtually believes, that you know, the best way for a child to perform and be, be ready to make their way in the world is to have an educational environment that fits their individual needs, because every child is different, therefore the needs are different. I'm preaching to the choir here. But uh, that's really what we are all about. Uh, and we, from a legislative perspective, um, we are optimistic about 2014. Uh, but like a lot of us in the room, we are also um, cautiously optimistic and we're while we want to see a lot happen, we know that it may be the next two or three years before we see a lot of what we want to see because of the simple political dynamics, election year, and all that. That being said, there's a lot that we can do. Uh, I think what's going on uh, right around our home, Druid Hills, uh, Druid Hills Cluster, uh, with the conversations that the senators had on the new bill that he's dropping, those are the kind of things I think we are excited about supporting. And just moving the ball down the court, keeping this storyline going uh, this coming year, that educational freedom of choice is on the move in Georgia, and we're still taking the lead on that uh, and looking for that opportunity in the next couple of years to go after the big, the big, big um, So that's kind of our long-range view from a political perspective. But um, we still have like 3,000 copies of the school choice movie we produced a couple years ago. If you haven't Making seen it yet, Making, Making the Great in Georgia, you can actually, here's the cheat sheet, you can actually watch it free on the website still. The whole movie's up on YouTube. It's makingthegreatmovie.com. 
But if you have friends that would like copies of that, just let me know. I can mail them, drop mail them. I can hand them to you. You can hand them out wherever you want to go. That movie is not branded to AFP. It's a coalition uh, production from the BD Coalition last year. For specific reasons, we wanted it to have legs and we could take it to different communities. And there was no, oh my God, that group's behind us. There was nothing like that. Because we understand that we are more of a political football in certain areas than we are in others. Um, so we didn't want to we didn't want to create that confusion. Um, so the movie's there. I also brought some handouts that we took on the road this year. We basically produced a one sheet on every educational method available in Georgia right now. What is uh, public schools, private schools, homeschooling, charter schools, independence, and independent charter schools? What's the difference? Um, online learning. Uh, there's one sheets on every one of those things, including, I know not everybody's involved in this, but we were with CWA and a couple others, uh, Common Core, what it is, what it does, from our perspective, to school choice around the state. So if any of those things are of interest to you, and you feel like you can use those one sheets in conversations with folks, uh, I will leave something out on the table when we close up. Feel free to take uh, as few or as many as you need. I will have some more if anybody needs some more. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.